For today's objective, we will be discussing uh, arithmetic integers. We are going to multiply and divide integers. Last time, we add and subtract integers. But before we start, let's recall first your multiplication skills. get correctly there are two types of problems in multiplying and dividing integers and they are like signs and unlike sign integers in multiplying like signs integers positive times a positive or negative times a negative we are just multiplying the numbers and then the product is always positive. But remember that we, when we are multiplying a zero number, the product is always zero. So remember that when we are multiplying a pair of positive numbers and a pair of negative numbers, the product is always positive. In multiplying unlike signs integers, positive times a negative or negative times a positive number if the, the integers have different signs the product is always negative so we just multiply the numbers and the product is always negative To understand more further, for example, 3 times 5, we all know that the product of 3 and 5 is 15. The thing that we should know if we are going to get positive or negative. So, in this case, negative 3 times positive 5 or positive 3 times a negative 5 and negative 3 times negative 5 is either positive or a negative sign. Now, to get the answer, we need to look for the pair of negative numbers or negative factors. So, if, so if the pairs of negative factors are even, then the product is positive. If not in pair or odd, meaning negative. So, in this case, both positive, this is equal to positive 15. And then 1 negative, negative 3 times 5 is 1 negative. And then this is negative 15. And then next is 3 times negative 5. The product is also negative 15. For the last part, we have a pair of, of negative factor. Then therefore, this is equal to positive 15.
In dividing integers, the concept of performing the integers is the same as as we do in multiplying integers. So, if we are dividing both a pair of positive numbers and a pair of negative numbers or negative integers, then the quotient is always positive. So, 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. 10 divided by 10 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is positive 3. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is also positive 4. Negative 11 divided by negative 11 is positive 1. And negative 9 divided by negative 3 is positive 3. So again, in dividing integers, if we have the same sign, then the quotient is always positive. Dividing unlike signed integers, positive divided by a negative or negative divided by a positive. Just like multiplication or just like multiplying integers, the, prod, the quotient is always negative. Again, if we divide unlike signed integers, the quotient is always negative. Now, let's try a more complicated example. So, for example, we have negative 1 times positive 8 times negative 6 divided by negative 3 times negative 4. So, if we analyze, we have a pair of even uh, negative factors. So, therefore, we will come up with the positive number. So, negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 6 is positive 48. Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Then, positive 48 divided by positive 12 is 4. Generalize to multiply or divide integers, like signs are always positive and like signs are always negative. Negatives in pairs are positive, not in pairs, they are negative.